Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own Minecraft 1.7.10 texture pack, or resource pack, I should say, the new name, obviously. So, this will let you edit the textures, the audio, that kind of stuff, even more that I can't think of right now, but you'll see here in a second, and it is really pretty cool. So, what you're going to need to do is go down in the description and download this file right here, default resource pack.zip, and download this jar file here, which is the actual editing software. So what we're actually doing instead of going through and making every single thing all by ourselves, we are actually going to edit the original textures because it makes it far, far easier to make sure you get everything. And if you don't want to edit some stuff, you can you know just leave it and the stock textures, the original textures will still get loaded for that specific item. So it makes things quite a bit easier for testing especially, so that is why we're going to do that. If you want to make your very own texture pack, you know, without using the original one, that option is there too, but that's not what I'm going to be showing off in this video. So open up the jar file once you have that, and it should ask you what version of Minecraft you're using, a little dialog will pop up. Since, since I've already run it before, it won't ask me that question, but it will ask you that. Go ahead and either, we'll just select what you're using, whether it's, you know, 1.7.10, you know, Forge, 1.7.9, whatever. Select what version you're, version you're using. I'm going to go with 1.7.10 in this video. So once it's opened up, it'll look like that. And I'm going to go over to Project, Create New Project. And I'm going to go Project from Resource Pack. So you can pick, you know, any resource pack ever, but since I want to keep this simple, I'm going to go with the original Minecraft, Minecraft textures. Jeez. So once you get this selecting thing to come up, the uh, dialog, go ahead and select wherever you saved this file, the default resource pack. So mine is just saved to the desktop, so I'm going to go with that. Go over to default resource pack, zip, and open that. Hit create, and I've already done that before. So when you hit create, it'll just import it. I'm going to go ahead and open it, because I've used this before. Alright, so it'll look something like that. So you can see here you have texts, you have shaders, you have font, audio, and textures, and then all this other stuff that you probably won't mess with at all. So I'm going to go ahead and expand textures. Let's see, let's go to blocks. Uh, bed is the first one up here, so that is what it looks like. So I'm going to go and hit edit, and whatever software you use to edit pictures will come up. Since this is just the second computer that I have and I don't really use it for much, Paint comes up, built in Microsoft Paint. So I'm going to zoom in here. You can see that is the texture for the bed. So I'm going to just change that to blue. It'll be all blue, sort of. I can actually do that better. God, paint sucks. Uh, there we go. That's more purple, actually. That's what they give me. There we go. That's something. There we go, look at that, look at that. Oh, God. There. Save. Hit replace. Oh, that's right, because I'm stupid. So I'm going to hit save as, and I'm going to save that just to my desktop. Yes. All right. See, I got it saved to my desktop now, and I'm going to go to replace. I'm going to scroll up to desktop. Oh, there. And I'm going to click on that, and you can see it changes it to that. So you can either use that, or you can go up to your browser, and let's see, if I wanted to look up, uh, I don't know, red wool texture. See if they have something like that. Yeah, if I wanted to use something like this, once it fully loads, then I could, use, yeah, I could use that, I could replace it with that texture right there. Keep in mind that it is a very high resolution picture, so that would definitely bog down some people's computers, so keep in mind that resolution does matter, so you might have to uh, shrink the file. You can also use things like Photoshop or whatever to edit your own texture and put it in the game. So, I'm going to go let's see if there's anything else I want to edit. We've got glass. Edit the way the glass looks. Thing with paint is it never keeps the transparency, so 
I'm not going to edit glass. I just remember that. Bedrock. Cobblestone. Let's edit cobblestone. Let's make it look. Man, paint doesn't do anything though, so I don't know why I'm even using it. Uh, oh, look at that. We're going to make it cool like that. That's our new cobblestone. Yeah, paint really is the worst. <laughs> paint sucks. Boom. All right, so now I'm going to hit Save Project. Give it a minute to compile everything and edit the textures that we changed. And now it's done with that. So we can either hit Export to and put it as a zip on our desktop or whatever we want to save it. Or we can do Export to Minecraft. So I'm going to do that. I don't have any resource packs in Minecraft right now. So I'm going to export it to Minecraft. And it's going to do that right there. Export successful. Just to double check, I'm going to go here. Resource packs. And you can see it's right there in that zip file. So now I'm going to go open up Minecraft and see what it looks like. Which really I didn't change much, but I still want to see. All right, so let's go to Options, Texture Packs, and you can see I got this over here. So let's hit Done. Done. Single player, Create New World. I'm going to go to Creative so I can actually select the item or items. All right, so we got. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna, oh, there's cobblestone, and then where is our bed? Let's see here. Oh, there we go. You can see already the cobblestone does indeed look different. It actually looks kind of interesting, and you can see our blue bed. Didn't edit the entire thing, so you can see that it looks, well, it kind of looks like a miniature pool in your bed, which I'm not even going to go there. Oh my gosh, I'm not going there. So yeah, that is how you make your own texture pack. It probably will take a little bit to actually, you know, get through everything and edit every, each and every file, but when you take it slow like that, when you actually edit the original texture pack, it does make things quite a bit easier to do. And that is really pretty much it. So if you want to just keep going on and making your own texture pack, that would be cool. And when you finish your texture pack, if you want to leave, you know, uh, you know, a link to a forum or whatever, or a download for it or pictures, whatever, in the description or in the comment section, you can do that. And we all can see the work you have done with this. So that would be pretty cool. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.